The Mobile Airport Authority could receive funds from the new $1.2 trillion federal infrastructure package. NBC 15's Justin Moore joins us now. Justin, this funding could be for the new downtown airport terminal. It very well could, but the Mobile Airport Authority won't know until the bill is signed, sealed, and delivered. The largest federal infrastructure bill in nearly a century now sits on the president's desk awaiting his signature. Roads, bridges, and even airports are included in the $1.2 trillion bill. It may be some unexpected funding. President of the Mobile Airport Authority, Chris Carey, hopes some of the funding could be in it for Mobile Airport. As the bill is written, $25 billion is set aside for aviation. $5 billion will be for improving passenger terminals. Up to 10% of that could be allocated to non-primary airports. What we see with the infrastructure bill is just another pot of money that expands on what the Federal Aviation Administration usually gives to fund airport development. The new terminal, which will be built at Brickley Field near I-10, has a $250 million price tag. Just a few weeks ago, the city of Mobile approved putting $30 million towards the project. We're trying to acquire uh, funding from multiple sources. Curry says there are other sources of funding pending. He says the goal is to build the new terminal by 2024 debt free. It's why Curry hopes some of the funding comes from this infrastructure package. Now, in Alabama alone, Democratic Congresswoman Terry Sewell was the only Congress member to vote for the infrastructure package. The president is expected to sign it. Kim?